Welcome everybody to Crypto Rosetta. My name is Savage. Today we're going to be having a look at BTC. Let's get into the charts and see what's going on. Okay, so in the previous videos, we are still looking at our two higher time frame options here. For our bullish option, what we are saying is that we are looking for evidence of this being a wave two. Now we have come down towards a 0.382, but we could still look to push down a little bit deeper here, in which case we could look to potentially test out this 50% to the 786 area. Now within this idea here, if we were going to say we are completed into this low, what we would be saying is that we have this as a flat correction here. And what we are doing is building a series of ones and twos here before looking for price to move impulsively to the upside. 41,888 is our target for this wave three. Now, if we do see these lows continue to hold here and we start to see impulsive structure developing to the upside, this will start to give us more confidence within this move. But in these lower degree counts lower down here, you know, there is still potential that this could just be a corrective structure and we could still be looking for that final push down. Now, the other way we were discussing this was that we could either have this as a bigger W and X and we're looking for a Y wave, in which case this 0.618 is our minimum requirement that we're looking for here. And what we'd be looking for is the idea that this is still in a bigger three wave move where we could see a move down here still towards a 0.618 to this one to one which is sitting here towards this 26,171 level. Now, within the other count here, what we were also saying is we need to be careful of the idea that actually we have this as A, this is B, and we could be looking for a five wave move to the downside. Now, given our current structure to the upside here, that impulsive target would actually be down at this 25,448. So if we start to see price developing five wave structure to the downside here, and we start to hit this level, this would then start to align much better with the idea that this whole structure here is a flat correction. And we're going to be potentially looking to target out this zone of this 25,360 to this 23,646. So those are our two higher time frame ideas that we're still looking at here. Now, within the bullish count, what we would be saying here is that this wave two could potentially be done. Now, with if this is the case, Within this count, what we'd be saying is that more locally here, what we have is that this is wave one, two, and we're looking at this as another one, two. Now, the 1618 of the blue count here is actually at this 31,113. Now, the thing is that if this is another one, two here, effectively, the likelihood becomes higher that you're going to see something like a 2.618 come in here on this wave three, because if we come onto the other count here, we can see that the idea here would then be that this is one, this is two. We have come down to towards this zone of the 702 already and prices started to react to the upside now we need to see what happens here because until we actually take these highs we need to be careful of the bearish count so until we actually look to push above this 30,259 there is still potential for continuation to the downside what we need to see happen for um, confirmation of this move is that we need to see price and i react to the upside and push towards this 31,675 level now it is always possible within this count we could get something like this one two one two and another one two here and then look to push to the upside but ideally we need to start seeing this um pushing up here because at the moment this move is just looking very corrective we just have three waves up so we need to just be careful of that more bearish situation so like i said this is going to be our key zone that i want to see at the moment we need to push above this 31,675, and we need to hold above this 28,701, which would be this lower invalidation point pushing down below this low would actually invalidate the idea of this direct breakout from this point and then we'd be looking at the possibility of one of our corrective counts now coming in here onto the smaller time frames if we are looking at something like this as a break to the upside what I would be looking for is effectively looking to build five wave structure. So if we're going to look at this structure here, what I'm saying is that we could have our wave one done here ready, and we could be looking for the potential of a wave two to the downside. Now, the most common zone that we look for for a wave two is between this 50% and the 786. However, I have put these two higher levels here, the 0.236 and the 0.382, because we do have potential to see shorter wave twos within a third wave structure so if we do see something like this being a one and we see a b and c and a push back down into these levels possibly coming back into some of these lows looking to retest the support zone here between this 236 and this 382 we could potentially then look for that possibility of a direct push to the upside from that point what we also need to be careful of is there is still potential here we could count this into this lower area over here and what we could then have is that this is a this is b and this is c and now this could actually be a completed move here and we could start to form 
impulsive structure directly up from this point so it's going to be key to see what happens here within this bullish idea of a direct breakout we would be looking to hold this 29,102 level and then we'd be looking really i don't want to see this 786 getting hit this uh, 29,180 i wouldn't like to see it move much deeper than that but invalidation is down here at this 29,102 now the idea here would be that we'd be looking for a three-way move to the downside looking to hold the support zone and then looking to push to the upside now depending on how deep we come here it will change this target to the upside so if we had to see a move down to the 618 which is sitting here towards the zone of this 29,242 that would effectively be up here at this 29,843. Now, if we do move up higher here and we don't actually get it as deep in a retracement, say we come to this 382, this would actually push that target up here towards this 29,929. So we're going to have to see exactly where this comes in. But what we'd be measuring effectively here is the length of this from the bottom to the top to the bottom of the wave two and projecting this forward for this 1618 level so that's what we are looking for here for confirmation now we need to just be careful here because there is still other ways that we were talking about the structure to the downside so now there is a way that if this is still within a wave two this could actually be w x y x and we could be looking for a z wave to the downside now within that idea what we'd be saying is that this is like i said w x y this could actually be our x wave here and we could be looking for a three wave move to the downside for a z wave now this would align quite nicely with coming back sweeping these lows as well as the potential of coming back and retesting this bottom channel line that we've got over here now we do also have this yellow trend line which is drawn between these two lows here so i'm going to be keeping an eye on this level as well towards us 28,765. but below that we have potential to still find support here on both the the ascending channel and the descending channel here so if we did see something like this a b and c what we could then see is a move down here and this would look to fulfill this idea of this being a bigger w x y x and a z and within our medium time frame count this would be looking to push us lower down here towards this 50 percent level so i'm going to be keeping an eye on that if we do see price coming back down here one more time this could align with this idea now if we are looking at that idea of a z wave here what we could see is that this move could be counted as an a wave here this is a b wave and we're looking for a c wave now if this is the case what we'd be then looking for is a three wave move to the upside which is not going to cross the 786 which is up here at this 29,996 and then we were looking for a c wave down invalidation of this idea comes by crossing this 30,244 as long as we stay below this level we need to be careful of this idea that we could still see a continuation to the downside looking for some of these lower targets that we've got here now if we do see this move to the downside here what we need to be careful of is a move past this 28,060 cents this would align with the idea that we see something like a bigger impulse forming here where we could actually have this as a five wave structure to the downside looking to play out now this could still be part of that corrective count so we're going to discuss that but we need to be careful because if we do start to get five wave moves down like i said we could potentially be looking at this as a b wave high here and this becomes one and two and then we start to break down we're going to go over that in a second but we're going to go over this um corrective count first now the other way we could also look at this structure is that this whole move over here could be a wx and a y for an a wave here and we could be looking for this b wave now if we're looking for this b wave we could technically complete already here into this 30,245 and this is why if we do see one two three four and five to the downside we could be just looking for this as bigger a a b and a c pattern now that one to one would actually look to push us down here towards this 27,771 we do have that one two three six here at this 27,217 so the key thing here is if we remain below these highs here we have potential to start developing five wave structure down if we push down towards this one to one level i want to see how we react in this zone if we just see three waves back up then this would not be a good sign and would potentially mean that the structure is turning into something else where this could actually be w this could be x we see this is a b and then we still see another push down now obviously if we're looking at this as a w x and a y what i want to see is just a clean three wave structure here i don't want to see anything getting too complex in the y wave so this is why if we do get w x and then we see a b and c it would be more likely that this is a wave two 
and not that actual Y wave playing out. However, if we do just see a five wave move to the downside, this would actually align with the idea of this being potentially a Y wave. So we're gonna to have to watch how these internals play out here. It's gonna be very key moving forward. Now, if this B wave is not completed here, what we could still argue is that there could be a move like this playing out where we have this as an A wave, this is a B, and then we're gonna look for a C wave up. Now this would align with this idea of this B wave still being in play where we could still look to push up towards this zone of this 30,863 to this area again here of this 30,119 looking to potentially you know sweep some of the liquidity above these highs now if we were looking at something like this what we'd be saying is that this move to the upside here is an a wave we could see an a a b and a c so that is aligning still with the same idea here that we could see this card play out over here we have this as a b and c and then what we could then see from that point is going to be a five wave move to the upside. So what we are looking for here is the idea of expanding flat. So what an expanding flat does is the B wave actually comes back down here, sweeps the origin of this A wave over here, and then looks to push back above the highs again. So effectively taking the liquidity below, pushing up, taking the liquidity above, and then looking for that continuation after that point. So it's going to be very important here that, you know, if we do see a move down here, just in three waves, this could potentially be, like I said, that Z wave completed, but this could also just be a B wave here, in which case we would get five waves up, and then we'd have to be watching how we react flats are confirmed when we have a c wave up and price action comes back and takes the b wave low so that'll be our telling point if we're looking for the possibility we're going to see three waves down then see a five wave move up and this is going to be our wave one what we want to see is price move up come back down find support above this low and then look for that progression to the upside so we we do have potential here that um, we could still see some more downside here the key thing is going to be these highs if we start breaking back above these highs then potentially we could start to see that idea of that one two one two playing out but we'd need to hit those impulsive targets the other way we could argue that this b wave was still playing out so the blue b wave over here where we're looking for the 786 to this 50 percent would be that what we could see here is that this move here could actually be counted in this way where this is w this is x and we're just looking for a b and c because we can potentially count this lower degree count over here as just w x a b and c so because of that fact we need to just be you know respectful that this move could still just have this is an a wave this is a b wave and then looking for a c wave now the invalidation of this idea would come by crossing this low here this 28701 and what we'd be saying here is that we're looking for this potential that this is a this is b and then we're looking for that c wave up now the only issue i have with this count is if we do push up towards this one to one level here, this would actually take us past this 1618 of this as a W wave. So this would make it a little bit less likely that this is um, the count in play. But what we could have here still is that this could actually be our A wave or our W wave. We have this as A, B and C because we were talking about that potential that this could be one, two, three, four and five as a diagonal pattern. Now, if we do see this, what we'd then be looking for is the fact that this x wave actually completes higher up here and then from there what we'd be looking for would be a three wave move to the upside so that same idea would be in play here where we'd be looking for this potential to see price move back up towards the zone of the 786 to this 50 percent level and then looking for that reaction to the downside now if we do see a move up into the channel this would align more with coming up to the 786 level but i will also be keeping an eye on this area here of this golden pocket 30,507 to this 30,424 because that would also be coming back up into these highs looking to sweep some of the liquidity that may be located in this area so going to need to keep an eye on this you know if we do see price starting to push to the upside here in five wave move it doesn't mean that we are all of a sudden you know in that bullish count because like i said this could still just be a b and c and we still look to reject here and find that final push to the downside where what we would be saying is that within that count we would have this being within this bigger a b c pattern so we don't have you know confirmation yet that this is a lasting low here there is potential as long as we continue to hold these and set higher lows but until we actually start to see price 
push to the upside and hit those impulsive targets we need to just be careful of this idea that this could still just be a b wave here and we look for a c wave down even if we do see a move up here into this range of this 32,473 to this 31,431 so that would be looking to take these highs we'd still have to be careful that we don't have something going on here where this is a b one two three four and five and then we still see a rejection from that point now it would be less likely in my opinion because of the fact that the c wave would be so large in this case where if we're going to say this is a b one two three four five and then we're going to see a push to the downside it would be unlikely but we can't rule it out because these things can sometimes happen within the wave structure so we'd have to be very careful of this area higher above it as well because then this could still just be a bigger a b and a c pattern looking for that idea of that y wave so one of the other things we were discussing in the previous video was saying you know if we do have this as a high over here what we could then have is that this could also be one two three four and five as our a wave now if this is the case what we could be looking for is the same idea here of forming a b wave this this seven eight six to fifty percent is slightly higher though because we're just looking at this more local move here so if we do see price look to push up here one more time we could be looking for this b wave and then we could look for a five wave move down still so this would align with two ideas so within this idea what we could have is that this could be one two or a b now if this is going to be a b what we'd then be looking for would be three wave move to the upside now this could also have another push up here before looking for the c wave so we're going to go over that in a second but effectively what we'd be looking out for here is whether this b wave is completed here in which case we could start to see a direct breakdown where this becomes one two three four five and we look to push down towards this twenty seven thousand one hundred eighty level or alternatively this would become our a wave this would be a b wave and then we'd look for a c wave to the upside or potentially w x y now within this idea of this being a wx and a y what we'd be saying is that we could see something along these lines where this is just the start of a move we have this as an x wave here and we're looking for this y wave so as long as we hold this low we need to be on the lookout for something like this where we could start to see price looking to push to the upside either in a five wave move here or as a bigger three wave move where we could still see one more push up here between this zone typically of this one two three six to this one two one which is sitting at this thirty one thousand two hundred three to this thirty thousand seven hundred ninety a three wave move up here would align with the idea of a few of these different counts so we need to be careful because like i said that bullish count needs to see us breaking that 1618 level until we actually do that we need to be cautious that if we just get three waves up here this could still align with the idea that we're going to see that continuation to the downside afterwards in either a three wave move or alternatively one two three four five where this could become that bigger abc pattern where we could then look for that reversal lower down here like i said um towards this one to one which would be somewhere between this one to one and this one two three six typically um if we're going to see something like this then you know this could just be corrective and we could look to move away we have to be careful however of moving past this 1618 level here this 25446 because if we do actually start to see price moving down past those levels what we could see here is that this whole move from further back here is looking to develop as one two three four and then we're looking for that fifth wave towards that 25,000 to that 24,427 as that potential target level now if we are looking at this idea of this move in the more bearish scenario here where we're going to say that this move is looking to break down in five waves what we'd be saying is that potentially what we could have here is this is our wave one we're looking for three waves up and then we're going to see that continuation down so this is much the same as that idea of this being an a a b and a c except within this count what we'd be looking for is price to push through this one to one level here and seeing this as one to getting a push down towards this twenty eight thousand dollars and then looking for an additional fourth and a fifth which could push us down towards that twenty seven thousand eight hundred and thirty nine to that twenty seven thousand five hundred and eighty seven level so that's going to be the key thing here we do still have that bearish um scenario here and really as long as we stay below this high we need to be very careful of this idea we could see this direct breakdown if however we start to see this move forming a five wave structure up here and we look to find support above this low again 
this could start aligning better with that idea that we're within the bullish count here where this becomes one two one two but like i said for that bullish count what we need to really see here is this idea of actually pushing up past this 31,675 level having a look at the daily cpr lines here what we can see is that we have printed lower cpr lines but we are currently sitting above these now what I want to see here is if we do continue to maintain this level of this 29,372 to this 29,324, what we could see is price could get gravitated to the upside here looking for some of these higher targets. Now we have hit this R1 line and we are currently interacting with this. Other targets to the upside for today would be this 29,551. We have this 29,628 and this 29,770 level. If we do see price looking to break back to the downside here, we could potentially find support still on this 29,227 and this 29,151. Now this would align with the idea here of this being a one, two, three, four, five, something like this looking to play to the upside. But we also need to be aware there is still that bearish scenario where we could still see continuation down. If we lose this level, what I'd be looking out for as possible targets for today would be this 29,024 and this 28,949. Now, price can always look to move through these. We need to be aware of that. These are just potential pivot points within the market. Now, coming over and having a look at the weekly pivots here, what we can see is that we've actually printed a higher weekly pivot. Now, this is giving us an initial bullish bias here. Now, we need to see whether price confirms this by actually finding support above these CPR lines and then starts to look to push to the upside, in which case what we could see is a move up here towards this 30,129, this level here of this 30,971 and this 31,668 level. If, however, we see price reject from this, what we could then see is a move down towards these lower zones. You have this 28,586, this 27,882, and this 27,050 level. So this area down here at the S2 would align quite nicely with this bottom of this channel. So we'll be keeping an eye on that. But then we also do have this one over here, the S1 line at this 28,586, aligning quite nicely with that trend line. So we're going to be keeping an eye on this. But if we do start to see price finding support above these, what this could mean is we could see price looking to move to the upside here. Now, having a look at the monthly pivots here, what we can see is that we're still currently below our central lines. Now, if we do move to the upside, we have potential to find resistance here at this 29,599. We have this 29,974 and this 30,327. So within our accounts, what I would be looking out for here is that if we are looking at this as one and two, if we see just a three way move up here, A, B, C, this could still align with that idea of a break to the downside. If, however, we are looking at this as that idea where we could still be looking at this as W, X, A, B, and C, this could align with coming back up into this higher level here of this 30,340 level, which would be back into these highs. Now, if we do look to start pushing back above these central lines, what we could see is price could actually be gravitated towards this zone of this 31,072. We have this 32,908 and this 34,019 as potential upside targets for this month. Breaking to the downside here and getting a clear rejection off of this would then make me be looking for this lower target here, 28,135, which would align quite nicely with coming back into this channel. Other targets to the downside for this month is this 27,000 and this 25,194 as potential downside targets okay so i'm going to leave the video there i hope you found it useful if you did please smash the like button hit that subscribe button if you haven't already turn on those bell notifications so you never miss a video leave us some feedback down below and also in the description you'll find a link to the discord come check it out it's free to join everyone have a great day we'll see you in the next one take care